Hello friends and welcome once again. I am Vinod Prabhu and this is your favorite channel Science and Aptitude Prep. You are here to look at uh, and learn from videos on aptitude and today's uh, video is on the familiar topic called as time and work. Time and work is a concept that regularly appears in these exams and you have questions that uh, start off from very basic in this particular playlist and move on to different types of problems but initially as we all do uh, in every video we look at some concepts so what is the time and work module all about here you will have a set of people working for it could be for uh, different times different number of days different number of hours different number of days the number of people could change the concept is all of these uh, when it happens work gets done okay and we have to see when the work gets completed or when the work is up to a certain fraction, things like that. So time and work is about people working for a specific time and some work getting completed as a result. When is work considered complete? Work is considered complete when it becomes equal to one. Okay any work it could be building a wall it could be um, let us say building a home when it becomes equal to one the work is considered complete so what do i mean when i say it becomes equal to one let us say you take two days to eat a cake okay. you take two days to eat a cake assume that you are eating at the same rate it's not like you eat fast on one day and slow on the other day if you eat so that's another assumption that we do work is done is consistent so if I uh, take two days to eat a cake, I'm eating the cake at the same pace or both the days. So if I take two days to eat a cake, how much of the cake do I eat in one day? So what do you think is the answer? If you think of it, you have two days to do some work. If uh, you do take two days, in one day how much do you do? You do one by two. Right? So if you do half of the work or rather half of the cake is eaten on day one, and the other half is eaten on the day two. So together half plus half becomes equal to one. Then we say that the cake is eaten or in other words, the work is complete. Okay, that is what I mean when I say it should be equal to one and the work is complete. If I take five days to eat a cake, then I will get on the first day, I will eat one by fifth of the cake. Second day, I eat one by fifth. Third day, I eat one by fifth. Fourth day, I eat one by fifth. And fifth day, I eat one by fifth is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 5 by 5 and it's equal to 1. So in one day I'm eating 1 by 5. So if you see, if I take 2 days to eat a cake, in one day I'm eating 1 by 2. If I'm taking 5 days to eat a cake, in one day I'm eating 1 by 5. In 2 days, 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5, I get 2 by 5. Second day he's eating 1 by 5. So in 2 days, what he ate on the first day and what he ate on the second day. 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5, it is 2 by 5. In 2 days, he eats 2 fifths of the cake. So can you see a pattern here? If I take 2 days to eat a cake, on each day, I am doing 1 by 2. If I take 5 days to eat a cake, on each day, I am doing 1 by 5th of the cake. So if a piece of work takes n days to complete, the most uh, important concept, if a piece of work takes n days to complete, in one day, 1 by n of the work is done. Okay. In one day, 1 by n of the work is done. In the second day also, 1 by n of the work is done. In two days, 1 by n plus 1 by n. So, 2 by n of the work is done. Okay. Now, what are the different units we will encounter in a typical time and work problem? We will encounter people, different numbers of people. You will encounter them working for different numbers of days. You will encounter them working for different numbers of hours. The quantity of work done might be different and then there is efficiency. Efficiency is about how fast or slow people are. This particular set efficiency we look at in a subsequent video, problems with efficiency. Hmm? So you will encounter these units. Now people, work, hours, days, um, efficiency. Okay, you will encounter these common units. So you will have a uh, chain rule formula, what does it mean? When two people or rather two sets of people are working and the they are working, so let's say set people of set one 
P1, P1 work for H1 hours and then they work for B1 days, they do a piece of work. Okay, they do a piece of work and then P2 uh, number of people work for H2 hours and for D2 days. Okay, they do amount of work. If the work is equal, then you can equate these two P1 into H1 into D1 is equal to P2 into H2 into D2 because the work done by both of them are the same. You can equate this. Okay, work done by group 1 is equal to P1 H1 D1. Work done by group 2 is P2 H2 D2. Okay. If the work is the same, you equate this to P1 H1 D1 is P2 H2 D2. If the work is not the same, okay, we get this. If the work is not the same, P1 H1 D1 by P2 H2 D2 is equal to work done by one group and by work done by the second group. So remember these two formula P1 H1 D1 by P2 H2 D2. In this formula, if you put what W is equal to W, this goes and then P1 you will get this formula. Uh, this, this formula. Okay. So these two formulas are of the same type, okay, are essentially the same. So P1 H1 D1 by P2 H2 D2 is equal to W1 by W2. Okay, this is this formula. If W1 is equal to W2, you will get this formula. How do you remember? See, if, look at this particular set, okay, for example, work, work is P H into D. We will see the relation of efficiency in a subsequent uh, video. If the number of people increases, work increases. If the number of hours worked on a particular day increases, work increases. If the number of days that these people work increases, work increases. So work is directly proportional to meaning the, if one increases the other is directly proportional to P, H and D. So P1, H1, D1 is equal to P2, H2, D2 and the work done is different. P1, H1, D1 by P2, H2, D2 is equal to W1 by W2. Where do I use what? You will use the formula if work done is the same, you will use this. If the work done is different, you will use this. Let's look at some basic problems, okay? T 10 men working on a building, were working on building a wall of 100 meters long. They work 8 hours a day for 50 days. And along with 50 men working 10 hours a day, need for a wall that is 100 meters long. So let us do P1, H1, D1. Is equal to P2, H2, D2. It is not the same. The work done is different. So then I put this formula. So what is P1? 10 men working for how many hours? 8 hours a day. For how many days? 50 days. What is the work done by them? Building a wall of 100 meters. Okay. Now similarly P2 which is 50. 10 hours a day. We don't know what is D2 for 150. Okay. Simplify. So D2 is 8 into 3 by 2, 24 by 2. I get 12 days. Okay, P1 H1 D1 by P2 H2 D2 is equal to D1 by D2. I have all of these. All of these are for one group of people, 100. People, uh, 10 people working for 8 hours a day for 50 days will do 100 meters and 50 people working for 10 hours of some days will make 150 meters of the wall. So I found D2 as 12 days. So there's 50 men working 10 hours a day will have to work for 12 days to build 150 meters long. Six boys are working in the garden for 10 days and they clean 10 acres of the garden. How long will 12 boys take to clean 30 acres of the garden? So again, P1, H1, D1 by P2, H2, D2 is equal to W1 by W2. So now P1, 6 boys, R's. So R's are not given. What do we do there? Let us see. Into H1, into D1. They are working for 10 days, a clean 10 acres of the garden. 12 boys take to clear H2, D2, 
30 years of the garden. When hours are not given, it means that they are working for the same number of hours in a day. So then we do 6 into h into 10 by 12 into h into d2 to 10 by 30. Okay, then we take the number of hours as the same. If the number of hours is not given, we do take it as number of hours work being the same. So you get d2 is equal to 30 into 6 by 12. We get 30 into 6 by 12. We get it as 15. This. So the second set of boys, 12 boys, will take 15 days to clean 30 acres of this garden. This question says three boys can dry all the puppets if they work for five hours a day on 20 days. Okay, so when they say five hours on 20 days, doesn't mean on the entire stretch of 20 days they only work five hours. It means five hours each on 20 days. How many girls are needed? They work six hours a day for five days. So we get P1, P2, oh sorry, we get W1 equals to W2 here, right? So the same number of puppets are being uh, dried by boys and girls. So I get P1, H1, D1 plus P2, H2, D2. That is the second formula. So P1 number of boys working for 5 hours into 20 days equal to number of girls into 6 hours a day for 5 days. Okay. P2 is equal to 60 by 6. I need 10 girls to dry all the puppets in the world for 6 hours a day for 5 days. So we have looked at some basic concepts okay, on uh, diamond work. These are uh, concepts that you need to remember. P1 H1 D1 equals P2 H2 D2 or P1 H1 D1 by P1 P2 H2 D2 is equal to W1 by W2. Another concept you have to remember is if I take n days to finish a work, <coughs> I take I finish one by nth of the work in one day. And you have to remember that when work is one, it is considered as complete. So if you like this basic introductory video to time and work, please uh, show us your love by clicking on the thumbs up sign, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you do not miss on videos on any topic. We also request you to share the video with your uh, friends and in your contact group. And if you want more practice on company specific tests and on uh, different uh, modules we suggest you to click on sciencesstyle.com sign up and login and use the resources uh, that are available there so thank you once again for uh, spending your time with us all the best see you soon